When you're out at sea, it's not cheap to get weather charts unless you pay for a satellite subscription and some expensive hardware. In this tutorial I'll explain how to get weather information in the middle of the ocean by using cheap hardware and free software. Weatherfax works like a regular fax machine but uses radio signals instead of the telephone line. It receives weather maps from locations all over the world. The signals are sent by big antennas at high frequency radio waves between 2 and 20 megahertz at around 10 or 20 kilowatt. Broadcasts happen at regular intervals and it takes about 10 minutes to receive a single image. You can look up the location of antennas, the exact transmission frequency and time of broadcast in the transmission tables. For hardware you need a USB dongle that is capable of receiving lower frequencies like the RTL-SDR version 3, the MSI-SDR or the SDR Play. I managed to get it working with a cheap RTL-SDR version 3 clone, which costs about 20 euro. As it's more difficult to receive the HF signals from a long distance, you need a good antenna. Normally you would need a big 20 meter antenna, but these days you can use a smaller one. I used the Mini Whip which is an active antenna, so it works better once it's powered. You can buy this type of antenna online for about 20 euro. If we put everything together it will look something like this. Some antennas also have a ground. Now we've connected the hardware, let's configure the software. To start receiving signals from our USB dongle, we need to install GQRX. To decode the received information, we need to install a tool called FLDG. FLDG will take the incoming data from GQRX, line per line and pixel per pixel, to transform it into an image. Now let's configure GQRX so it works with the hardware. In the documentation for our dongle it says we need to put RTL is 0 and direct SAMP is 2. When we open FLDG the first time, we need to select Pulse Audio. Then we select op mode and set it to weatherfax 576. To know what frequency to tune to, we look it up in the broadcast schedule tables. You can find the frequencies and broadcast hours online. One option for broadcast information from all over the world is the website of the National Weather Service or NOAA. Another option is the website of the World Meteorological Organization. Or you can go to the individual website of the broadcasting country, in this case Germany. Let's try with frequency 7.880 kHz. We open GQRX and change the mode to USB. We also change the FTT size to 500,000. Because we are using USB mode we need to deduct 1.9 kHz from the frequency in the tables. This means we need to go to frequency 7878.1 kHz. Press play to start listening. If all goes well we see a nice waterfall. To see the signal more clearly we zoom in to see it. On the right we see that the signal is also received by FLDG. Next we need to align the two incoming yellow signal pulses with the red lines. This you can do by changing the frequency in GQRX. Once this is done, an image should start to appear.
it may require some configuration and tweaking the right frequency, but once you get everything set up, you can bookmark the frequency for next time. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.